guys welcome back to my channel i am dr shruti vasishta if you new here don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel today's video is for all the students who are aspiring to crack the neat ug entrance exam and earn the title of a doctor before we start discussing and planning the strategy for the next 45 days there are a few things which i want you to leave behind doubt negative thoughts and social media can i do it will i be able to crack the exam my friends have prepared better no this is not what you have to be thinking right now keep all these thoughts aside and focus i presume all of you have given at least one rating by now even if not you can follow the strategy i have divided these 45 days into three slots that is 5 plus 30 plus 10 5 days in July, 30 days in August and 10 days in September. So what is this 5 plus 30 plus 10 strategy? Let's find out. The first lot, 5 days in July. So these 5 days in July are going to be exclusively for those topics which you find difficult or the concept which you have not understood or if there is anything which you haven't touched any time before. Dive into your NCERT textbooks. your class notes or any book that you are referring and try to clear these concepts during the 5 days one important thing that i want to stress upon here please don't switch into any new book at this point of time if you want to refer for a particular topic then it's fine but don't shift to a new book because it becomes difficult for you to get adjusted to the book and remember the concepts which are given there so follow the same books that you have been studying all these days you should be studying for at least 10 to 12 hours a day so you have 60 hours in your hand to cover all the difficult topics and concepts now coming to the next lot is the 30 days of august these 30 days that is the entire month of august is your golden period so out of the time you have allotted for studies you must be dedicating 3 hours towards the most important part of preparation that is solving a previous year question paper This is going to help you immensely. You are not going to take your own sweet time to complete a paper. Keep a clock in front of you, set a timer and complete the whole paper in one go. No breaks. This will not only make you familiar with the type of questions but also helps you to manage time on the day of exam. Time management is as important as studying because you might know all the answers but end up in not having done. And once you finish a paper, Cross check your answers and track your performance. I am sure you'll be able to notice an improvement within a week. Solving MCQs is a better way rather the best way to prepare than just studying. You learn to apply the concepts that you have studied only when you start solving MCQs. There are a few online platforms which provides mock tests. You can solve them as well. So the rest of the 6 to 7 hours in a day which you are left with is going to be for revision. You can either go with the AD revision pattern that is the alternate day revision pattern where if you are planning to study physics and botany on day 1 you go with chemistry and zoology in day 2 and the alternating pattern continues or if you are comfortable with following a regular study pattern that is covering all the three subjects in a day you can do that as well but revision is very important and the last revision of the day that is one or two hours before sleeping is going to be for all those important concepts like it might be some physics formula or the chemical equations or organic chemistry and all the important concepts in biology so that was for the month of august and now coming to the last 10 days in september solving mcqs continues here but revision is the key strategy revise 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 the more you revise the more you remember the better you retain and obviously the better you perform the day before exam might sound ridiculous but i did not do anything this was a strategy that i followed a few years back and i could get through the exam and i'm sure even you can have faith in yourself believe in your ability be confident but not overconfident and give your best i hope to see some of you as my juniors in my college as well i hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more content see you soon Until then bye